Okay, so the next thing is to go to flows.nodebread.org to get another node to add to our node bread flow. Um, now this is a really handy library. There's all kinds of different things in here. Some stuff's community made, but there's lots of different flows and nodes that you can use to, to quickly build up your applications. And the one that we're interested in is this, the node red contrib Facebook Messenger writer, which will allow us to write back to whoever sends us messages via Facebook Messenger. Okay, so if you're doing it locally, you could just do um, npmi, but of course we're using Bluemix. So I'm going to navigate to the Bluemix console, which is console.ng.bluemix.net. Okay, and then open the dashboard page for our application. And scroll down to the Orion Git integration that we added earlier on. So just hit edit code, and this will alert, open the Orion IDE, which will let us make the code changes we need. So stop your application at the top there, hit the stop button on that menu bar, and then open package.json. So this is where all your application dependencies are listed. So under the dependency object, um, I'm going to add another entry. Um, so just at the bottom here, just make sure you put a comma there at the previous line, um, and then start to enter that. So that's node red contro Facebook Messenger Writer, and obviously um, we're going to want to specify a version. Now, I'm happy with any version as long as they're not a breaking change, so I'm going to have whatever the latest version is as long as it's zero dot, so there's not been a breaking change, so zero dot x. Okay, great. So now, once that's done, all I need to do is save um, my package.json file, so I'm going to go up to the top here and select file and save, and then restart the application, so deploy the app. So once that's done, you'll notice if you type f in the search bar, you've got a new note Facebook Messenger. So I'm going to grab on a, drag on a function because I want to do a bit of pre-processing, and then drag on that new node that we've just installed there, so the Facebook Messenger node, which we're going to use to send messages back to our Facebook page via the Facebook API. Okay, so then if we add a debug node as well, and these, these nodes are really great, as I said, to, to view the status of your application at any time. So we're going to wire those up. Let's take our function node that listens to messages and then output that through our new function node that we've added to do a bit of processing before we send any data back uh, and then connect that to the debug. So on this function node, what we want to do is set the Facebook event property, which the Facebook Messenger writer listen, listens for. So that's looking for a Facebook event object. And we want that to be equal to the messaging event, which we set in the previous function. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is hard code the payload here, and the payload is the message that we want to respond back with to via the Facebook API. So I'm just gonna hard code this as, hey, this is all I say for now, just to, to test everything's working fine. So once that's all connected, you need to go to the um, developers.facebook.com page again and copy the token that you generated earlier on and paste that into the access token box here on the node. And this just connects the Facebook Messenger node that we've added into our node red flow with the API that we've set up through our developer account on facebook.com. Okay, that's all we need to do. We can hit deploy and that'll deploy our application. So now we are listening to messages through our Facebook page. Um, so I'm just gonna go down here and type hello. Let's check that that all works. And it should now respond with that string that we entered. Hey, this is all I say for now, perfect. So now we've got it responding and receiving messages from Facebook. That's all very well and good, but we've not connected to our chatbot yet. So we're gonna to need to make a couple of modifications to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is break the connection with the input node and the messenger response. Then I'm gonna add a new function node and uh, one of a link node to connect it with our OK Watson flow. Just like that, okay? Perfect. So what I want to do now is modify this function node so that what we're doing is a bit of processing that sets everything up appropriately for our conversation flow. So I'm going to add a from messenger variable and I'm going to set that to true and I'm going to set the payload to be the messaging event dot message dot text. So just the string from the message that gets set done. Okay, the next thing we need to do is subscribe our link node to the relevant flow so we can just select that one there. Um, and then that'll connect it with our OK Watson flow. Okay, not going to deploy. I want to go to the OK Watson flow. There, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to just break this link. So this link just sends everything in conversation to text to speech, as you remember previously. But what I want to do is add another function node that checks first whether or not the message came from Facebook Messenger. Um, and of course, a link node. So if it did come from Facebook Messenger, we send the response back to Facebook. Uh, okay, so add that in. 
Um, and we're going to want to just connect that to text to speech. And I'm going to want another output to send to the link node. Just add that one on there. Okay, we'll wire that up in a second. So the first thing I know I'm going to want to do is check that from messenger variable. And if that's true, then what I'm going to want to do is return the, the conversation flow. So return the array of message, message, brilliant. And then otherwise, if that's not the case, then what I want to do is um, message and then null. Um, and that will just mean the rest of our flow behaves as expected. And we can just delete that last little bit and then we're done. And then, as I say, link that to the link node. Okay, I'm just going to want to give this a name. So I'm going to say this is the conversation output for Messenger. And um, just so I can subscribe to it in the Messenger webhook flow. Perfect, that's all set up. So I'm going to drag on another link node here and wire that up to this bit of the flow and on the conversation output from Messenger. So whenever that link fires, so whenever Watson has an output for our Messenger flow, this will listen to it and it will send it via the Facebook Messenger API back to whoever it was that was talking to us through Facebook. Oh yes, the last step, just delete this hard-coded string here so that the response we're getting in Facebook via the API um, is actually the response from our IBM Watson chatbot. Okay, we go back to Facebook here and we type hello. Fantastic. So now we're having a conversation with our, we're having a conversation via Facebook with our um, Watson chatbot. Oh, no, wasn't contemplating, can't do that. So uh, what can you do? There we go. So here it is, it's telling me that it's only a demo bot, so you can see that we've successfully integrated via Facebook Messenger our Watson chatbot, and it was that easy um, to do that via Nogre. Thank you.